Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Lush Foliage. In today's video, we are going to be talking about another rare variety of Syngonium called as the Syngonium Mojito. Now, back in 2020-2021, this was so rare that it was very difficult to get this plant. Apart from that, in case if you happen to find this plant, this plant was in almost five digits it was very very expensive even that five digit amount if you pay you might happen to get a very small little tiny plant but today because of the tissue culture and all of those stuff a lot of propagation has been done of this plant and today the plant is a little bit more affordable than what it was back in 2020 or 2021 so today we are able to enjoy this beautiful plant of course because of a lot of propagations a lot of tissue culture and there are a lot of now these plants coming up in the market so if you can find this online you can definitely add it in your collection i am not very sure if this is going to be available in your local nursery because even though this is readily available these days online but it does not hit the local nurseries as of now now the beauty of this plant depends upon those beautiful mottled leaves it has this beautiful variegation at times you might have half variegation on the leaves or at times you might have a full variegated leaf like this not variegated i mean the mottled leaves like this the entire leaf will be mottled and that's what makes this syngonium extremely beautiful now of course even though this is a rare syngonium it has the same care requirements of a regular syngonium it is very easy to take care just follow the basic care requirements which we are going to be discussing in this video let's start off with soil mix now the soil mix that i have used over here is a mix of coco peat garden soil sand and perlite this is what i tend to use for all of my plants so that is the same soil mix uh, the coco peat is going to retain slight amount of moisture because syngoniums prefer a slight amount of moisture but not soggy wet soil. The garden soil is going to give the basic nutrients and minerals to the plant. The sand is going to make the soil mix well draining and the perlite is going to make the soil mix airy because they do not like to be sitting in a very compact soil. Especially when you are growing such rare varieties, you have to be a little bit more careful towards the soil mix. So ensure that the soil mix is loose, porous and well draining. Do not make a soil mix that is very compact because otherwise that will damage the plant. It will suffocate the roots. Now talking about watering, ensure that whenever you see around one to two inches of the upper layer of soil is dry go ahead and do a complete watering until the water starts passing through the drain hole so it's always good to do a check always check that the upper layer of soil around one to two inches is dry do not keep the soil dry for a longer period of time because syngoniums are not drought tolerant plant they can easily get damaged if the soil tends to stay dry for a longer period of time now talking about light it is the most important thing if you want a good amount of variegation because the reason why we are buying Singoni Mojito is because of that beautiful mottled variegation on the leaves. If you are not going to give it enough light, then the variegation will reduce and the plant will start to revert back to green in color. So you have to be extremely careful. Give a good amount of indirect bright light dappled sunlight or filtered light please do not expose this plant to direct sunlight otherwise the leaves will get burnt you will start noticing a lot of brown tips or brown edges so ensure that you're not exposing it to direct sunlight if the plant is very mature then probably you can give early morning direct sunlight before 9 a.m after that please offer only indirect but bright light now this plant can be grown indoor as well as outdoor if you're growing it indoor you can grow it near the windowsill where it receives a good amount of light without the sun rays falling onto the leaves do not keep it under the air conditioning vent or a heater otherwise that will again damage the plant now this plant is a tropical plant it prefers warmer growing conditions basically summer is their growing period they prefer warmer temperatures but again anywhere between 15 degrees celsius up to 33 degrees celsius is going to work out really well it will be able to handle another plus plus two degrees of heat probably 34 35 degrees celsius but if the temperatures are above 38 degrees celsius or let's say if the temperatures are below 10 degrees celsius then get the plant indoor and grow it indoor because it might not do quite well outdoor with extreme high temperatures or extreme low temperatures so you have to be extremely careful now talking about fertilizers as i said these are plants that tend to grow in the warmer conditions or during the warmer months which is the summer months you can go with any liquid based fertilizer you can give it once a month because these plants are not very heavy feed 
leader so once a month is more than enough do not add any fertilizers during the winter season because that's when they tend to slow down their growth even watering has to be reduced again watering depends upon your environment if it's very dry the frequency will be more if it's very humid the frequency will be less again the watering also changes as per your season now talking about is this plant toxic yes this plant is toxic if the leaves are ingested so ensure you're keeping this plant away from the reach of small children and pets Propagation of syngoniums are pretty simple. All you have to do is do a root division. For that, you'll have to take out the plant from the soil. I have already made a video on syngonium multiplication or propagation of the plant. You can check the link in the description below if you want a detailed video. Right now, this plant is very small. You can see there is only two leaves and one new leaf is coming up. So I cannot do the propagation at this point of time. But as I've said, the propagation is pretty simple. Syngoniums are one of the most easiest plants that you can grow in your garden so if you are a person who's looking out for a very unique rare looking syngonium then syngonium mojito is the answer talking about pest issues yes syngoniums do get affected mainly with mealybugs usually you'll tend to see it at the uh, petiole or on the stem area of the syngonium so always do a routine check the moment you notice one mealybug immediately get into action use whatever organic solution that you have been using in order to eradicate them because once they reach into an infestation then it is very difficult to take care of it so always treat the bug infestation at the early stage the earlier the much better so guys, that's all about it. I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep planting.